All right, so welcome back here, everybody. And let's go ahead and just simply continue the process here. And we're going to go ahead and paint here uh, on our fins. And um, then we'll go ahead and paint our body as well in the next lesson. So let's go in here and just simply rotate our rudder fin here, our bottom rudder fin here, and select our body. Just double click our paint whites icon tool there. And we'll just grab our joint system here. Just making sure that we actually select the right one here. So we'll go ahead and just simply start pulling some of the weight off here. And making sure that, you know, we definitely get these weights painted properly because we definitely want our fish to um, move correctly here. And this just take a little bit of, a little bit of patience, a little bit of time. Uh, as long as you're um, at least careful with what you're doing, you really shouldn't um, mess anything up or anything. So just make sure that you know you give yourself a a fish rig that's actually going to be uh, painted correctly, rather than uh, deforming weird, um, because you definitely don't want that. You can see that I'm actually painting upside down here, so let's go ahead and just rotate regular, uh, just so that you guys don't get confused. And you'll notice that, you know, I'm really always uh, rotating around the mesh, uh, no matter uh, <clears throat> what I'm doing. And, and, and that's because I want to make sure that I get this done right. I can't stress that enough. You really want to make sure that you, you know, do this stuff correctly because later on down the road, if you have a problem, it's better just to make sure that you give the animator something that actually works properly rather than uh, having some very small minor errors so definitely go over the mesh uh, no matter what you're doing basically with a fine tooth comb because you don't want to have any problems really at all uh, and you want to be real professional in terms of what you're doing okay so make sure that we are constantly double checking here to make sure that uh, our mesh is moving right so you can see that we're getting a little bit of movement here on the opposite side fin here so we'll go ahead and select that and just try our best to take all this stuff off here and do, do, do. And I'm really just trying to do this um, somewhat in sections, you know, and concentrating on one area and then moving to the next area. Okay. So I definitely still have to take some out here, some out there. A lot on the head here as well so we just definitely need to you know spend some time painting the weights here properly let's go ahead and reselect this and see how this is coming along okay so you can see where it's actually pulling on the side fin here so we'll go ahead and take that off here as well And you'll notice that I am painting with zero there. So that it's pulling all that weight information off. And if you're painting wrong, um, or if you paint too much weight that goes over to equal to one, you'll actually see errors being uh, posted here in the, in the command line, command response line. Just to let you know. So it all has to equal one in terms of, you know, the weighting information so we'll just simply paint as best as we can here ok 
Okay, so let's go ahead and maybe add a little bit of weight here to the end of that joint chain. Just so that we make sure that we get enough weighting information on the, the fin there. So we'll go ahead and grab this, just making sure that uh, nothing else is going to be moving. So you can see that we're still getting a little bit of movement here. Um, let's go ahead and touch up on that. And I'm just going to try and smooth that out as best as I can here. And you can really see that it's, it's more or less a smaller area. Okay. So I'm just trying to really be careful of what I'm doing here. And I'm just, you know, definitely double, triple, and uh, quadruple checking the weights just to make sure that it's not affecting the body as well. Okay, so we'll go ahead and rotate this. And I think we're okay except for maybe on the fin here yeah so we'll have to pull some of the weight off of that as well looks like it's just on the top of the fin there and you'll notice I'm always painting uh, just simply with black and white I don't use the the actual color scheming uh, method and this way it just makes it a lot easier to go in and actually paint the weights. Okay, so we'll go ahead and try and pull off more of that there. Okay, so I think that might actually be it. So let's go ahead and try and rotate this joint to see if we're good. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, that looks good. All right, so we'll go ahead and throw those all back to zero. And let's go ahead and paint on this side here. And you can really see what I mean in terms of the actual wrong deformation. Um, you can really see how it uh, sort of blows the mesh out. And that's really where, you know, painting your weights is really going to come in handy and, and doing it right. So let's go ahead and just paint on this side here. So we're going to... Make sure that we take and grab our right rudder B1 here. And we'll just, you know, basically repeat the same process here. Making sure that we pull all that weighting information off as best as we can. And like I said, you know, with a fish that's, that's really this simple, um, and really this small it's easier just to paint uh, your weights basically on both sides rather than having to go ahead and you know mess with and fumble with the actual weight uh, mirror information so let's just make it much more simpler to you know go ahead and basically paint on both sides rather than uh, give yourself a headache it's just you know make your job easier on yourself you know don't uh, really basically kick yourself in the butt it's, you know work smarter rather than you know work harder so let's just do our best here to pull the weighting information off here and once you do uh, you know one side it just really makes it easier just to go ahead and do the other side because you've already done it um, and you really know exactly where the the weighting information is going to be so it's just you know a little bit uh, easier to go ahead and get those weights painted properly
and you'll notice that I'm really, you know, like cranking along here pretty quickly, and that's because I've already painted it on the one side, so it, you know, it just makes my job just that much easier to go ahead and paint on the other side. And we'll go ahead and add a couple weights here. To try and equal this stuff out. here and check to see if this is all rotating right and you can see that it's not because we're actually getting uh, movement here and we don't want movement there okay so we'll go ahead and just select that and just start painting here as well taking some of that weighting information off because I don't want uh, to be rotating this joint and basically having this side of the mesh actually move that would be a little bit uh, counterintuitive and be basically kicking ourselves in the butt there so go ahead and just try our best to pull that weighting information off let's just check to make sure that we're doing it right there okay so you can still see where it's moving a little bit in here okay so we'll try and pull more off here. And this is where uh, understanding your wireframe is really going to help too because you'll know exactly um, which vertices have moved if you've uh, done a decent job of retopology. And this is just a mesh that I've uh, gone ahead and actually retopologized inside of ZBrush and then just simply brought in the Maya to go ahead and uh, rig. There's really no uh, major problems in terms of the actual geometric layout, except for, you know, maybe the eyes. Uh, and this is because I already have uh, a different model retopologized where the eyes are um, fully rigged. And maybe I'll show you that here in a later lesson. Uh, we'll just have to see if time is going to allow me to go ahead and do that. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to focus on getting all these weights painted properly here and making sure that we get this rigged and uh, ready to animate uh, I definitely won't be covering the animation because I'm not an animator I'm more or less a modeler and uh, rigger uh, I would really call myself a, a troubleshooter so that's probably a better generalization or maybe a label to call myself um, let's see here. This all looks like it's being proper. Maybe that can get smoothed out a little bit. Um, maybe here too. Let's go ahead and rotate this now and see how this is working. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Oops. It doesn't look like this mesh side is actually moving, so... And you can see a little bit here on the left fin, so I'm definitely going to have to tweak a little more here. And that's really no big deal. Um, we're really coming along fairly quickly here and getting this uh, painted properly. In the next lesson, we'll uh, be painting the weights for the actual body. And that's going to get a little bit tricky because we got to make sure that we uh, definitely have the fish moving right because we're going to be using a spline control um, as well as an auto swim feature. So, you know, that's definitely where it's uh, really a little bit uh, time consuming and tricky. So we'll definitely be, you know, taking a good amount of time to go ahead and focus on painting the weights for the body. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and rotate this here and see how this is actually going to work. And you can see that we're still pulling a little bit on the uh, the right fin here. So we'll go ahead and just rotate this down enough. Okay, select our mesh. And we're going to try our best to pull all the weighting information off of this side fin here. Okay, so I think that's going to cover that. And I think we need to maybe pull a little bit more off here. So let's go ahead and select this. Pull that off. Just being careful there. Okay, go ahead and grab that. I think we're okay there. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this back to zero. Let me go ahead and zoom out just to make sure here. Just double check, triple check, and quadruple check here. So yeah, that all looks uh, pretty good for those two fins. So we'll just simply go ahead and rotate all those back to zero. And we'll go ahead and call it an end for, for this lesson. Uh, and then in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and come back and begin the process of painting the weights on the actual body structure. So uh, come on back. Everybody.